everybody, welcome to another edition of Android Absolute. I know we didn't have an episode last week, it's because I had some issues with my camera, but I got a new Kodak Z8, so hopefully I won't have any more issues, and making these videos will become a lot easier for me. Obviously, the most popular app this week is going to be Evernote. This is an app that helps you remember stuff, it jots down notes, it takes photos, it records audio notes, and it can upload files as you can see. So you basically have four options for trying to remember stuff. Now, of course, snapshot is going to be when you take a photo. Say you're... Say you're reading a, a newspaper one day and you spot something you like, you want to take a photo of it. Then Evernote gives you options. You can add a title for this note, you can put some details on there, and you can put tags. Tags are going to help you organize it. So you can apply a tag for a specific project or I like work tags versus your home so you can keep stuff separate and organized now I'm gonna save this uh, let's say I just enter some basic information newspaper when you add notes you can use it to provide additional context to why you took that photo say read article for Williamson project whatever just an example I'm gonna I apply a tag and put work and save it once I save it automatically syncs to my evernote.com account so I can log on later from my laptop and just browse the stuff that I took during the day I can also upload files if you're a paid member you get uh, any type of file you want that's under 25 MB but if you just have a regular free account, uh, you're limited to a certain types of files. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they are. I can't remember. Uh, I'll, I'll try to put them in the article. And then, of course, you have your text notes, which is just when you add information. And then you have your audio notes, which is when you re record stuff to yourself. So I'm going to press record. Then I press stop. I can play it back. Note to self. Make Android Apps Alert video for later on today. The video has to be edited and complete by some. And then if I'm not satisfied, I can re-record or I can just save it and have it upload to my website. If you discard it, that deletes it completely. So you have options of exploring notes as well. If you create a note on your computer, you can go through Evernote and check it uh, within the app on your phone. And then you see all these notes that I have stored away. Basically that's Evernote in a nutshell. It's an Android app. Play around with it some more. If you constantly find yourself needing to make notes and remember things, this is definitely something you're going to want to have. Okay, the theme this week is replacements, and if you're like me and you use Astrid a lot, you're unfortunately going to have to replace it for the time being. For some reason or another, it's not syncing to Remember the Milk. So I found this simple Remember the Milk uh, task app, it's called RTM Task. Basically, it lets you see your inbox, it lets you see the priority, uh, the levels that you apply. You can click on a video, click on a task, you can edit its priority, you can set a due date, and if you complete it, you can just complete it. So I'm going to look through what I have to do today. I'm going to say, okay, this is done. I save. And when this finishes, when this saves, it's going to sync back to Remember the Milk without me having to do any additional steps. As I said, you can browse through the app and see your inbox. You can also create tasks within the app that will be synced to Remember the Milk online. And you can also select the list. Now, unfortunately, this I don't see an easy way to filter by tag. 
I don't see an easy way to have built-in reminders like uh, Astra does. This is, like I said, a very simple solution. So if you want a full-featured syncing option like you had with Astrid, until that improves, you might have to consider going for the official Remember the Milk app, which requires a pro account of, that's $25 a year. If you don't want to pay that money and you just want to have a temporary solution in the meantime, consider RTM Task. And speaking of replacements, here's an app that was badly in need of an update or a replacement of some kind, the official Facebook app. Uh, I've gone on record saying I was really disappointed in the original one, but they've improved it. So now the non-Droid phones have a similar version to what we saw on the Droid phone. You have this little home screen that has your news feed, friends, photos, profile, notifications, and more. So you can obviously browse through them to get your notification. You can update your status directly from the phone. You can also browse through what your friends are saying, read their status updates. And yes, there's support for seeing photos. So uh, let's see, someone just uploaded, no that's a link, let me find a photo. Unfortunately, oh, I stand corrected, it still sends you to the mobile website to see photos. So this app still sucks in a major way for in that particular field. But there are other areas where it does improve. So for now, I'll cut them some slack. But Facebook, you really need to get on your job because this is seriously lagging behind the iPhone version. Okay, let's say you're in an app, uh, for instance, you're browsing Twitter, and you suddenly think of something and you want to call somebody. What you normally have to do is press the call button, scroll through your contact list, maybe their favorite, or you go home and you select one of the shortcuts that you created on the home screen. But what if you didn't have to do any of that? What if you could just stay within that original app you were in, for instance, uh, Swift, and instead of leaving or pressing any buttons, I just swipe down the notification bar and then all of a sudden I see my most frequent contacts directly in the notification. Uh, I can set it to click someone's name and text them. And then I can have a text message set up. I can also set it to uh, call someone directly. So when I click that person's name, Hmm, let's go. I think I might have made a mistake. Let me double check. Now it's dialing that person. Okay. All of this is capable thanks to an app called Dialify. That's D I A L I F Y. It's basically an app that scrolls through your contact list and allows you to add shortcuts for people based on who you select. So when you go through and you click someone's name, So when you're going through the list and you see someone, uh, you can edit people that are already on there, you can add people, you can delete them. All you have to do is press this button and then it's going to ask you, do you want to call, text, call and text shortcuts or if you want to have nothing there. Whenever you, let's say I want to take someone who's in there now and re remove them, so I'm going to scroll through, I find them on the list and then I just press the button and I select none from now on they won't be considered as part of my list this is called Dialify you can find it in the Android market it's one of the ADC suit uh, ADC, ah, blah, 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 blah. one of the ADC2 finalists and it's available in the Android market